All right, guys, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to enter MGRS coordinates into the F16. MGRS is a uh, format that is almost like a black magic to me. I had some issues with it when I first started using them with the F18. Uh, it's got a few quirks to it, but uh, it's not too bad once you figure it out. Anyway, a couple months ago, I did a video where I was working with an AI JTAC in game. He gave me some MGRS coordinates to uh, put in. Uh, I, I want to say on two different occasions I had MGRS coordinates and I had a viewer leave a comment the other day and said that uh, they were trying to do the same thing and they were only getting dashes back from the conversion so I've been sitting here thinking like what could they be doing wrong to get the dashes the only thing I can think of is that they're not hitting enter in the process somewhere after they populate one of the fields and so it's not converting correctly and it's giving them the dashes I'm not sure that's just a guess though Anyway, we're gonna go through the process uh, real fast and just show you guys. Uh, in order to enter MGRS coordinates into the F-16, uh, it has to do a conversion to uh, latitude and longitude. And the only way you can do the conversion is on steer points 21 through 25. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You have to be on one of those steer points in order to convert the MGRS. So the way you do that is by going to your ICP, we're gonna hit uh, number four, STPT, for steer points. It's gonna take us to the steer point page. We're currently on steer point one. You can see it's populated over here on the DED. It's got the latitude and longitude, the elevation, all the information that you need. We need to be on at least steer point 21. Like I said, anywhere 21 to 25. To get to 21, you're gonna go back to your ICP. You're gonna type in two, one, and hit enter it's going to take you to steer point 21 it's not populated it is a brand new steer point right it's completely blank it is on the latitude and longitude format in order to get to the mgrs portion of it you've got to go to your dauber switch and dauber right one time then wait a few seconds it takes a few seconds for it to do it that's going to put you on your mgrs page now let's go to uh, the f10 map really fast to look at the mgrs coordinates that i got all right, we're in F10 map. Uh, this is on a Nevada map. It is with the 476 range objects. So I just picked a random location on the map. What I did is I picked a spot roughly in this area for this uh, JTAC position. It's called FAC C3. Uh, the position that I got is going to be 11 Sierra Papa Alpha 359307986. And the elevation is going to be 3561. Uh, when you first open the game, I think it's always like on some default latitude and longitude over here in the uh, top left corner. In order to get to the uh, MGRS coordinates, you just click on it a few times and eventually it'll take you to the uh, grid coordinates. 11 Sierra, Papa Alpha, whatever. So let's hop back in the airplane. And uh, we'll see about putting these coordinates in. Once again, it's going to be somewhere in the uh, general location of these four uh, Humvees. All right, so we're looking at our DED. What we want to do is dauber down to grid. We know that is going to be 11 Sierra. So we'll type in 1-1 one, one and then hit enter. At that point, it's going to highlight the letter. We want to do the rocker switch for our steer point up until we have Sierra or S selected. There we go. 1-1 one, one Sierra. Hit enter again. It's going to take you down to the square. We need Papa Alpha. We need to hit enter. It's going to highlight the very first letter. Then we want to do the rocker switch and down till we get to Papa. There we go. Hit enter again. It's going to highlight the second letter. The uh, square is Papa Alpha, so we don't need to change anything on this one. We can just hit enter again. It's going to take you down to your grid or your, uh, your east and north, all right? Our digits are gonna be 35930, so let's type in 35930 by 79866, 79866. At this point, you want to hit enter. Hit enter and it, you know it's gonna be right because it's gonna put the slash and it's gonna divide it up into two groups of five, right? Five and five for a total of 10 digits. Dauber down to the elevation. Type in your elevation. Mine is going to be three, five, six, one. Hit 
enter. Now you need to dauber down one more time and it's going to select convert. Once convert is selected, real quick, before we do that, you see my steer point information is blank, 000. .0. When you got convert highlighted, hit enter and it's going to convert it and there you go. We are 10.9 miles away, a minute and 26 seconds out. Uh, and you can see all the information is populated here. Uh, it did round the last digits, you know, the last digits down. It was uh, 35930 It rounded it down. Uh, I don't know why. I don't think that's correct, but it just does that. So either way, it's super close. It's going to be where uh, you need to be. Let's verify that by looking at the TGP. So we're going to go down here to right MFD, hit TGP. Let's turn the brightness up just a little bit. Let's go to white hot. Let's go to narrow, build a view, and let's let's zoom in. There you go. There's our four Humvees that we were looking at on that JTAC position right here. So it did in fact work. Uh, our, like I said, I'm I'm at a loss as far as to what they could possibly be doing wrong to get the dashes. I've seen the dashes before. I've gotten the dashes too. I'm not above that, but I left something out in the process or didn't hit enter. Uh, when I first looked at it this morning, I got the dashes, and I don't think I hit enter after something. That's the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, uh, I really, I don't know. Now, there is a caveat to this. When you're working with an AI JTAC, um, you know, the airplane requires t a total of 10 digits, two groups of five, right? When you're working with an AI JTAC, uh, I want to say the last time I did it, uh, he gave me eight digits. I want to say there was a time he gave me six, too. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. But I know he definitely gives you eight. Uh, he may give six. He never gives ten. Okay? So the airplane requires ten digits. You have to put ten digits in. You can't put anything less than that. Uh, where you mess up at, this is what makes it a black magic, is that... Uh, what I first started doing when I uh, tried to put the digits in, because it gave me eight, I put in the eight digits and added two zeros to make it 10. And that is wrong. That will put you way off in left field. It'll be a wrong location. You may wind up bombing a friendly if you do that. So what I did was I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero, zero to make it the 10 digits. That is wrong. What you have to do is divide it in half. So if he gives you eight digits divided by two is four. Two groups of four, right? One, two, three, four, slash five, six, seven, eight. To make that ten digits, you want to add a zero to the end of each group. One, two, three, four, zero, slash five, six, seven, eight, zero. That'll put you dead on where you need to be. If he gives you six digits, you do the same thing. You divide it in two, three and three. One, two, three, zero, zero, four, five, six, zero, zero. That'll put you in the right location. Don't add your zeros to the end. It'll mess you up and be wrong every time. You have to divide the, the digits in half. Like I said, if it's eight, it's gonna be four and four. If it's six, it's gonna be three and three. Add your zeros to the end of each group. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. I hope this uh, fixes this problem. If not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, uh, tell me hello. Love hearing from you guys, and uh, we'll catch you out there next time. Peace. No, big cat. No, <laughs> stop. Oh, no. No, 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 kitty. Oh, that's, uh, that's a MIG. That's a MIG over us. Okay. <laughs> it's the weirdest day ever. Oh, no. He just fell. He just fell.